Please welcome Mike Lyons. Just gonna be a just conventional dumbbell fly. Really concentrate on the squeeze. You do not want to feel it in your front belt. But what I mean by that, when you're opening up, when you're opening up and you start to feel it, that stretch kind of move over into the front belt, that is your body telling you that is your stretch point. That is, you, you should not go any further than that. So um, really pay attention to your body. Um, it'll tell you when you're getting to that point. So you shouldn't feel it in your delts whatsoever. It's mainly a chest. And when you're coming up, you're emphasizing that um, ever so slight pinky movement to the middle um, instead of the index um, to really emphasize that squeeze at the end as well. Just regular tempo, um, incline dumbbell flies, and like I said, we're gonna go right into uh, push up. I like starting up here. So what I'm gonna do now is just gonna open up, go until I feel the stretch, and then up to the squeeze. As I'm coming down, my chest is coming up. As I'm bringing the dumbbell up, Strum comes up with it and squeeze. So I'm just doing push up back of the bench. Really just concentrating on flex at the top. As we're basically working an exhausted muscle where we just did the flies. And we've already hit our presses, so really we're just trying to get more blood and more squeeze into an already pumped muscle. Give yourself a good minute, minute and a half in between each set. Get your close to full recovery as you can. Keep a weight that you can get anywhere between 10 and 12. But like I said, you're going to absolute failure on the uh, flies when you break your form when you're starting to struggle that's your body telling you that's it and go right to the, the push up off the back of the bench for that just go on the edge of the bench chest right to the bench when you're coming up you're really emphasizing that sternum up and you're really flexing so it's almost like you're flexing to press off so if you think about it you're flexing your chest to press so it's almost like this fashion, like you flex and then you're pressing and you're holding. So don't think about pressing yourself away. Think about flexing your chest to get yourself off the bench. So that's your first super set right there. Now I'm gonna do um, crossway bench, dumbbell pullover. More so to open up the rib cage and uh, the uh, serratus. And then I'm gonna go into uh, pec deck. I'm really gonna hold that flex for a count of like three to five seconds until I can't hold that flex anymore. So again, same as last time, it's, the reason for that is to get as much blood into the muscle as I possibly can. Um, where I'm already, I already have a pumped muscle, um, I'm just trying to get, get it stretched out and get more blood in there as I possibly can. So um, for the crossway dumbbell um, pullovers, what I do is I put basically that little knob on the back of your skull right on the edge of the bench as the marker. Um, let yourself kind of wrap your yourself over the bench and keep your arms um, as straight as possible. Go down to the dumbbells right basically just below parallel. And then you're bringing it up just above your face. So it's not like a pullover for your back where you're trying to bring it all the way over. Where this is coming up, you're just working on the, like the serratus, the rib cage. Um, the basically the lower pack. Um, you are going to hit a little bit of the latch just because of the movement that you're doing, but the main focus is opening up your rib cage. So, again, stretching out a pump muscle. Let's give her a try. Back of the head, the bench. Myself set up, wrapped over the bench here. Go back until I feel a stretch. Ooh. And bring the dumbbell right above my face. Alright, 
into the back deck. Set yourself up nice and tight. I like to lean my head back over top of the bench. And hold. tells me right there that my chest is a little more tired than I thought. So next step, I'm gonna lighten up the weight on the pec deck here so I can get more reps. So this isn't about how heavy I'm doing it, it's what we feel and getting that flex. So right off the get, um, I figured out that this was going a little too heavy. So the key indicator to yourself is you wanna get a higher rep range and get that flex on every single rep. So really emphasizes getting blood and putting that extra stress on that muscle. So I basically show myself that I'm, my chest is starting to exhaust and I need to lighten the weight up. So use this indicators um, on your own workouts. And I just basically demonstrated a way to not do it and change on the fly. So next chest day, give this a go. Um, like, subscribe, and keep the comments coming. Thanks everybody.